Okay, uh, so this is part two of 3.12, again, equivalent representation of trig functions. We are given uh, eight questions and eight answer options, and we and we need to match uh, uh, with appropriate choices. So let's start with this one. Okay, I think uh, this is a very, uh, I think this reminds me of uh, Pythagorean identity because one plus tan square theta is secant square theta or we can say that secant square theta is one plus tangent square theta. So this will look like tangent square theta minus one minus tangent square theta. So tangent square theta and minus tangent square theta is gone. So that will look like minus one. That is the final answer, which is obviously option. Right, uh, the next one is tan theta sine theta plus cos theta. So I think I'm gonna replace tan with sine theta over cos theta. So that, and this sine theta and then this plus cos theta remains as it is. So this looks like sine square theta, I think. Sine square theta over cos theta plus cos theta. Uh, if we take a common denominator, common denominator will be cos theta. And here I will have sine square theta plus cos square theta. Sine square theta plus cos square theta is one. So we have one over cos theta and one over cosine is secant of theta, which is no such choice B. Okay. Uh, for question number three, we have uh, tan square theta over one plus tan square theta. So I, so I think I can again use the Pythagorean identity because one plus tan square theta is secant square theta, right? Now, tan square theta can be written as sine square theta over cos square theta and secant square theta can be written as uh, one over cos square theta. So if we use KCF, keep change flip, this will be keep, I will change the sign and I will flip the one over cos square theta to cos square theta. These two are gone, so I'm left with sine square theta, which is option D over here. Okay, uh, question number four, tan theta plus cot theta. I think I can replace tan theta with sine theta over cos theta. And then I can replace cot theta with cos theta over sine theta because that's quotient identity. If I take the common denominator as sine theta cos theta, uh, so here I think I will have sine square theta and here I will have cos square theta. Sine square theta plus cos square theta is one. So I will have one over sine theta cos theta and one, the reciprocal of uh, sine, one over sine is cosec, cosecant theta, and one over cos is secant theta. So the answer is cosecant theta, sec theta, which is answer choice G. Let's try this one. Uh, so we have uh, secant theta minus this. So secant theta is one over cos theta, and then tan theta will be sine theta over cos theta multiplied with sine theta. So uh, here I will have the common denominator as cos theta. This will be one minus sine square theta because the denominator is already common and sine times sine is sine square. One minus sine square theta as per Pythagorean identity is cosine square theta uh, over cosine theta and cos square over cos is just a single cos. So cos theta, which is H option H. Uh, this one is, uh, I think I can again use the Pythagorean identity here because I know that cos cosecant square theta is one plus cot square theta and the rest of the things just remain as it is. Uh, one and minus one is canceled and we am left with cot square theta over cosec square theta. I think um, uh, one over cos square theta can be written as sine square theta, right? Because one over, oh, sorry, one over cos x square theta is sine square theta. So cot square theta times sine square theta. And cot square theta is nothing but cos square theta, cos square theta over sine square theta times sine square theta remains as it is. And these two are gone. I'm just left with cosine square theta, which is option um, F. 
Finally, the last two questions uh, over here, I am given cos theta over sin theta and cot theta over tan theta. So, um, cos theta remains as it is. And don't you think that 1 over sin theta can be written as cos theta? Now, likewise, cot theta remains as it is and 1 over cot theta, sorry, 1 over tan theta is cot theta. So, this will become cos x square theta minus cot square theta and cos x square theta can be written as 1 plus cot square theta using the Pythagorean identity and minus cot square theta remains as it is. So, these two are gone. I am just left with 1 which is option C. And finally, this one. So, I am going to use the, uh, the algebraic identity A minus B whole square and A plus B whole square which will be a square as in first term square plus b square as in second term square minus 2 times first term times second second term. Likewise, first term square plus second term square minus, let me make some space over here, uh, plus, no sorry, not minus, plus 2 sin theta cos theta. Minus 2 sin theta cos theta and plus 2, two sin theta cos theta are gone sin square theta plus cos square theta is 1, sin square theta plus cos square theta is 1, and 1 plus 1 is 2. So, the answer is 2, which is option 